Hello and welcome back to the Northcott website. Today I'm going to take a moment and walk you through how to download fabrics for EQ, which stands for Electric Quilt. This is a piece of software that a lot of quilters use to mock up digital quilt images. It's a great way to look at a Northcott collection and see what type of quilt you want to make with that fabric. All of our collections on the Northcott website have this, the ability to download fabrics for EQ, so let me show you how to do that. First of all, you're going to be on the northcott.com website, and from the Fabrics menu, choose any of Archives, uh, Coming Soon, or Current Collections. Once you select the category that you're looking for, now choose a collection which you're interested in. So if I want to go to Christmas Classics, and now I can browse the different fabrics in that collection. So uh, I'm getting a small window here, and if I hover over, you'll notice that a larger image pops up. Uh, you can scroll down to see all the other images in this collection. If you keep scrolling down, you'll also see oversized repeats, which are larger prints that are in the collection. Now I want to scroll back up and look in the sidebar for this Download Fabrics for EQ button. And when I choose that, depending on which web browser you're using, a couple of things could happen. If you're using a newer browser like Google Chrome, you can set up your download location in your preferences and the download should automatically start. I'm using Firefox here, which asks me whether I want to open with or save the file. Um, now I'm going to choose Save File, and also you may get an option to choose the location of where that downloads to. Uh, if you do get that option, just choose somewhere that you'll remember um, where that file is going to be, so whether in My Documents or your desktop or whatever it is. Uh, so today I'm going to choose Save File, and I'm going to hit OK. And then the window pops up that shows me my download progress. So depending on your connection, it could take anywhere from a couple seconds to a few minutes. We try and keep our files around 10 megabytes, 10 to 15 megabytes. Some of the Stonehenge collections are a little bit larger. Um, and we compress them in a zip file so that it's as small as possible, so that when you download them, it doesn't take quite as long. Uh, but we want to maintain a high quality of image so that when you do download these and include them in a quilt, they're going to look great. So once they're downloaded to my computer, I can minimize my browser and go and find the file. Now you'll notice that the file is downloaded as a zip file. Um, now in this case it's downloaded to my desktop, but uh, it may have been downloaded to your uh, My Documents folder or your Images folder. Um, also if you take advantage of Electric Quilt's uh, file folders, you may have saved it to the PJ7 or PJ6 folder. Um, so when you double click this file, it's going to unzip um, the zip file, uncompress it, and you'll see the folders there with the collection name. And when you double click that folder, it reveals all of the JPEG images. Now, JPEG is a common format, a common image file format uh, that Electric Quilt can read. Uh, and you can import this as a swatch or a, a fabric uh, and then use that to build uh, your quilt. So, uh, if I'm on Mac here, so I'm just going to show you a preview of these files. Uh, so, you can see that they're a fairly large graphic. Uh, and again, that's just a high quality image that we provide so that you can get a good idea of what this fabric is going to look like in your quilt project. So anyway, I hope this has helped you just get an idea of how to use uh, the download for EQ function. Um, thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.